The government is shut down. But the Mueller investigation is still going. And yesterday, we got a surprise look at where it's headed. A slip-up by Paul Manafort's lawyers has revealed new information about his contacts with a Russian during the Trump campaign. While Paul Manafort was serving as Donald Trump's campaign chairman, the documents revealed that he was in contact with a man by the name of Konstantin Kalimnik, an associate U.S. officials believe is linked to Russian intelligence. Now, these new details come in a document that was filed by Manafort's lawyers. Some lines were blacked out or redacted, but it turned out because of a clerical error, they could easily be read simply by copying and pasting them into a new document. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, first of all, don't judge. It's hard to edit a PDF. I don't know if you guys know how to... I don't know how to do it. And second of all, that sure sounds to me like Donald Trump's campaign manager was colluding with Russia. And giving Russians polling data so that they could target American voters would have been vital because you know Russia didn't have much luck with their own polling. It was probably them on the phone like, Hello, Mr. Williamson. <laughs> This Steve from Glorious Polling Industry, who do you want for leader, strong Trump or Clinton woman? <laughs> but the funny part to me is that we found out about this. The only reason we found out is because Manafort's lawyers didn't know how to edit a PDF. <laughs> That's insane. So Manafort was colluding with the Kremlin when he should have been colluding with Kinko's. That's what he should have been doing. <laughs> Moving on to some other news, diamonds. The little stones that we strap onto our fingers. Yeah, kind of weird when you think about it like that. That's all they are. But people love them, and now they can feel good about it, too. Tiffany will begin revealing the origins of its diamonds to show they are so-called conflict-free. Starting today, the region or country of origin will be displayed alongside a selection of diamond rings. Customers can ask store employees for information on all newly sourced stones. First and foremost, uh, what we want to have uh, is to have uh, customers uh, that feel good in buying uh, a Tiffany diamond, not only for its beauty and its value, but also for the transparency of its supply chain. Yeah, that sounds amazing. I like this guy. Basically, his new ad campaign is, shop here, we didn't kill any Africans. I like that. <laughs> no, and this is, this is good news. You know, of course, knowing rich people, I wouldn't be surprised if the new fad is gonna be getting the most unethically sourced diamonds. <laughs> There's gonna be some rich lady who's like, oh my God, Ashley, did he buy you a diamond? I'm like, mm-hmm, it's three carrots and six dead Congolese. Oh my God, <laughs> he's the one. <laughs> and you know, it, it's good that they're doing this for diamonds. But they should really be doing it for all products. I think we should try. I mean, diamonds just get the attention because everyone saw Blood Diamond, right? Which exposed the corrupt exploitation of native laborers and also Leonardo DiCaprio's horrible South African accent. <laughs> yeah, like, maybe you guys don't remember that, but we Africans will never forget. <laughs> he was like, we have gotta go back to those bloody get the diamonds. <laughs> get the bloody diamonds. Like, what are you, a drunk Australian? What are you doing? <laughs> They should make a movie with Leonardo DiCaprio and Forrest Whitaker's character from Black Panther, and then they could just do, like, bad accents together. Just like, oh, the bloody diamonds and the strength of the blick. <laughs> the blick. What the hell is blick? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> the blick. I give you the strength of the blick. Pinta. <laughs> no, even T'Challa was like, the what? Moving on, uh, here's a story that was big news over in the United Kingdom. Are you guys fans of Harry Potter? <laughs> yeah. So, what happened is that author J.K. Rowling decided to announce for some random reason that Hogwarts didn't always have bathrooms. And in the old days, witches and, 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 and wizards simply relieved themselves wherever they stood and vanished the evidence. <laughs> really, J.K.? Wherever they stood? I mean, it's great that you vanished your dookie. But first, I had to watch you squeeze it out for like eight minutes <laughs> in the middle of potions class. I mean, the floor is clean, but my mind is scarred for life. <laughs> also, why don't they just make it disappear in their tummies? These are wizards, I don't understand. <laughs> so yeah, basically, according to J.K. Rowling, wizards were just shitting everywhere, and <laughs> that doesn't make Harry Potter more appealing to me, but it does make New York City seem more magical, yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I passed a wizard on the way to work this morning. 